Hi everyone, my name is Pratik Joshi and today I'm going to be speaking to you regarding the physical whiteboard which is used by mostly all the test takers for GMAT online examination and I'm going to be giving you five important hacks that you can use to ace the GMAT online exam using the physical whiteboard. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So hack number one is buying the physical whiteboard as soon as possible. This will give you enough time to practice on it and secondly, it will at least give you time to locate the right whiteboard that is meant for you because the most of the whiteboards available are of the big size. So this will give you enough time to be comfortable with the whiteboard and to locate the whiteboard that is required for you. Hack number two is basically buying the right whiteboard that is meant for you. There are two things to consider. First thing is the border and next thing is the usable space. So you want to buy a whiteboard that has the least border as possible. So yes, that is the one for you. Hack number three is basically using the right whiteboard marker. So if you use a whiteboard marker which has a huge nib, then basically your writing space will automatically be reduced. For example, so a simple equation like this takes around this much space on the whiteboard. So if you have like the right amount of practice then you can use this pens to maybe write something like this so this will give you a lot of writing space to use basically for the entire course of the examination so what i would recommend is basically to buy a whiteboard marker that has a smaller nib so that it gives you enough space to do the scratch work write whatever you want and cancel out the stuff whatever you require hack number four is basically the dry whiteboard eraser so basically there are two types of erasers one is the eraser that is located on the pens that you buy so if you use this eraser look at the time that i'm taking to write the entire equation it's not at all enough and if you want to fill the whole space with scribblings and writings or whatever this will take you ages so what i would recommend is go for a magnetic whiteboard eraser just like this one and you can clean it just in the jiffy so it's completely completely okay to go for a big uh, whiteboard eraser and i would recommend to go for a magnetic one because you don't have the additional pain of searching where you have kept it during the course of the examination so yeah go for a magnetic whiteboard eraser final hack is basically practice so if you do not practice enough you will not be able to do anything for the examination it's basically how familiar you are with the whiteboard so i would recommend buy the whiteboard one month before the exam and at least give around two mocks using this whiteboard so that will give you all the experience that is required to ace the gmat online exam using the physical whiteboard so that is it for this video and for anything else that you require you can drop me a comment and let me know if you need anything else from me and for the other videos stay tuned in and see you for the next video thank you bye bye